This next game is Snakes. It is a two-player game. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, you can play with more players if you've got an additional set of mount dice. And you are trying to help St. Patrick drive the snakes out of Ireland. Uh, your objective is to get your snake farther than your opponent's snake. You set up by placing eight dice in two rows of four next to each other, just like this. This is the back of the snakes. Um, and uh, place your chosen color on the top of the snake. This play will be white against yellow. Take the additional tokens down here. These are going to mark the number of rounds that we play in the game. Um, so the very first step, you roll all of your dice in front of you at the same time as your opponent. So there are all of those dice and all of these dice. And um, if you roll any chains or corners, so this is a chain, these are corners, you can attach those onto the front of your snake, just like that. Let's see, so we could do something like that if we wanted to. Uh, you cannot attach something that is going to move it in front of your opponent's snake, and you cannot do something that would split your snake into two parts, which is why you can't use this face or this face. Um, there is one special exception rule, which is you can attach this, but once you do, that is the end of your snake, so you will not be able to move any further forward. So you want to save that till probably the very last round of the game. Um, you then get to choose how many of these dice that you want to attach. So I might say, well, I'd like to attach just, just two of these right now. Uh, and your opponent is doing this at the same time, so they might decide to just attach this one because they've gotten the same distance forward with one die as you have with two, and now they've got four more dice that they can roll. Step two, you can choose to pass or you can roll again. If you pass, the round is over for you. You move your uh, token forward on the snake and um, grab some dice off the back so that you're back up to your five. But if your opponent chooses to keep going, then they can do this again using only these dice. So they might choose to do the same thing again. And now they will keep rolling here. Let's, uh, let's say they really want to push it. All right, and they roll this last die. And in this case, they got lucky. So there they go. And they have gotten that far ahead. While you are that far ahead after one turn, now we remove this token. That's one round. And now we do it all again. So. We've already gotten our five. Now that they have finished their round, they take their five off the back of their snake, and those are the dice that they get to roll. They are, so yellow is this far forward, and white is this far forward at this point. We take up and roll our dice again. And let's see what we want to do this time. Let's see, uh, white would be happy to go there. Oh, let me re-roll that. Um, and I think that's going to be all they're going to use this time. Ooh. Now this is rough. Okay, so um, if they chose to put this on, that would be the end of their snake. They would be over, but we still got a number of rounds left, so white is probably going to win. They cannot put this on because it would then make their snake go into the other side. So that's white side of the board. They can't place that die on there. They also can't place this die, and they also can't place this die, which means their round is over. They can't place any dice. The snake has bitten them. At any point when you can't place any more of your dice and the, the snake, if you roll your dice and you cannot place any of them, the snake bites you. And uh, if you had placed any dice, let's say that they had played a couple of dice so far, and then they rolled these three and they um, couldn't play any of them, then the snake would bite them. They would then not get to move forward. They would stay right where they are and take these dice off that they had already played this round. 
Um, so let's say that white wants to be going now because uh, they're feeling a little more confident now. They're feeling a little bit less confident. Um, didn't do all that well, but I think they're going to keep going because they've got to catch up to yellow. And got very lucky there. Um, and I think we'll just leave it there. So white has now advanced that far. We take a few dice off the back to get five. And we'll toss one more of these round markers. And we go again. Um, the game ends after the sixth round. And whoever has moved their token furthest forward wins the game. There is one more thing that I need to tell you. If at some point you have rolled, whoops, you have rolled your dice and managed to place them all, let's say, okay, so let's use a better example. Let's say that they rolled these two. So if they have managed to place all five of their dice up here, then they move forward three spaces one, two, three, and then they take these five dice behind them and start rolling again from there. The reason they don't move forward all the way to the end is if at some point they get bitten from here, they move back to this point rather than all the way up to this point. It's a little bit of a risk to take all five of these again. Uh, if they roll all, all like that or all like that, then they're not going to get these additional spaces. Uh, that is snakes. Uh, once you've played the six rounds, whoever has gotten furthest forward wins.